Hi guys, it's Miss Basinger. Um, I'm going to have a read aloud on Epic. I'm going to show you how to get there so you can look for the same book or through different books. But this one's called uh, From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. And it is all about how seeds are spread, the parts of a plant, how they grow, and it's pretty interesting. So I'm going to let this play and show you guys how to get there. All right, so once you get on Epic, I have lots of collections. There's butterflies, bravery and kindness, animal classification. I posted these on our Google Classrooms. Um, Earth Day will be coming soon. And so I'm going to go to plant books. There are all kinds of really awesome ones on here. How to eat different plants, how to make hanging gardens, fairy gardens. Freaky plant fra uh, facts. There's lots of fiction books. What happens to plants in winter? Different kinds of areas plants grow. More about seeds, different flowers. How bees um, spread pollen to help plants grow. But we're going to watch From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. So I'm going to start that. Seeds again. and plants. Seeds and plants. Sorry. <laughs> Side Scientists who study plants are called botanists. Okay. Some seeds sprout. Sorry. There we go. From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. Read by Erin Mallon. The words in this book appear in two places, at the bottom of the page under the illustration, and sometimes in the illustration itself. I will read the words at the bottom of the page first, and then the words in the illustration. Now, turn to the first page of the story. Tomato, seeds, squash, Violet. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Tulip, daisy, rose, pea, buttercup, corn. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. Sunflower. Oak tree. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. Apple tree. Dandelion. Zinnia. Aster. A flower is made up of many parts. Petal. In the center of the flower is the pistil. At the bottom of the pistil are tiny egg cells called ovules. The sticky part at the top of the pistil is the stigma. The parts of the flower around the pistil are the stamens. Stamens make yellow powder called pollen. Sepal, stem. Before a seed can begin to grow, a grain of pollen from the stamen must land on the stigma at the top of the pistil of a flower like itself. This is called pollination. Pollination. Stigma. Pollen. Pistil. 
Damon. Pollination happens in different ways. Often, wind blows pollen from flower to flower. Bees, other insects, and hummingbirds help pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice, called nectar, pollen rubs onto their bodies. Pollen. Pollen. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off onto its pistil. Pollen. Pistil. Pollen. If a pollen grain from a flower lands on the pistil of the same kind of flower, it grows a long tube through the pistil into an ovule. This is the beginning of a seed. Pollen grain, tube, ovule. The seeds grow inside the flower, even as the flower begins to die. As the seeds become bigger, a fruit or pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seeds. Pod, fruit. When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open. The seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds fall to the ground around the base of the plant where they will grow. Some pods or fruits open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. Other seeds fall in streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. There, they travel on the water until they stick to dirt along a shore. The wind scatters seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Others have wings that spin as they fall. Animals help scatter seeds too. They hide acorns and nuts in the ground. Some seeds have hooks that stick to the fur of animals or people's clothes. Later, they drop off onto the ground. A flower bed or vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in the gardens. Carrots, tomato. The seeds come in small envelopes or boxes. Directions explain how to plant the seeds and care for the plants. Lettuce, corn, beans. The beginning of a plant is curled up inside each seed. Food is stored inside the seed too. The seed has a seed coat on the outside to protect it. Beginning of a plant. Bean. Food, seed coat. A seed will not sprout until certain things happen. First, it must be on or in the soil. Then, it needs rain to soak the seed and soften its seed coat. When the sun shines and warms the ground, the seed coat breaks open and the seed begins to grow. This is called germination. A root grows down into the soil, 
The root takes in water and minerals from the soil for food. Germination. Root. Up grows a shoot. Green leaves grow up from the shoot toward the sun. Leaves. Shoot. The plant grows bigger and bigger. The leaves make food for the plant from the water and minerals in the soil, the sunlight, and the air all around the plant. Finally, the plant is full grown. Buds on the plant open into flowers where new seeds will grow. Bud. Many of the foods people eat are seeds, fruits, and pods. They are full of nutrition, vitamins and minerals, and they are tasty too. Rice. A from seed to plant project. How to raise bean plants. One, find a clean glass jar. Take a piece of black construction paper and roll it up. Two, slide the paper into the jar. Fill the jar with water. Three, wedge the bean seeds between the black paper and the glass. Put the jar in a warm place. Beans. Watching your bean seeds while they sprout. Four. In a few days, the seeds will begin to sprout. Watch the roots grow down. The shoots will grow up. Caring for your bean plants. Five. Put dirt into a big clay pot. Six. Carefully remove the small plants from the glass jar. Place them in the soil, covering them up to the base of their shoots. 7. Water them and watch them grow. Seeds and plants. Seeds and plants. Scientists who study plants are called botanists. Some seeds sprout only in the heat of a forest fire. Some plants live for only one season. They are called annuals. Other plants die at the end of a season but grow back the following year. They are called perennials. Plants in the desert, such as cactus plants, store water in their stems. They can live for a long time without rain. Mountain plants are short, so the wind can't blow them over. Plants move. Many flowers open in the morning and shut at night. Some close when it rains. Also, plants move toward light. Some plants eat insects. These plants live in soil that doesn't have enough minerals for food. Venus flytrap. The biggest flower in the world grows on the island of Sumatra. It can weigh up to 25 pounds and can be four feet across. Raphalesia plant. All right, guys, so my challenge to you is to try to grow a plant it could be um, a seed just like in the book. You can go back to Epic and find that. My class last year put a um, Ziploc bag on the window with paper towel and put some beans in it, and they sprouted after a week or so. Um, some other ideas are to plant seeds from fruit you eat this week. Um, I think I've seen somebody do it with a garlic clove. So you can try all kinds of things. You can look for um, plants in your yard. Um, just have a good time. Send us what you find. Bye-bye.